Hi, this is Pat DeLuca. Welcome to Deep Between Insights. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Composite Job Generator and uh, look at how it works based on the work that you have already done in the pattern uh, editor and the composite layout uh, window, creating a new composite or editing existing composite layouts. Again, remembering that those are three dependent pieces in this workflow. The composite job generator, you can only get to it from the shoot description data table, uh, which I talk about a little bit in the shoot description data table video. This window enables us to mass produce a particular type of work in DP2. The regular composite is one, you create it once and generate as many as you need. And I want to talk a little bit about what's what kinds of decisions you're making in the composite job generator, and then we'll take a look at the macros that enable that automation, um, you know, that dynamic uh, ability to use a template. First thing is the order. You can select any of the orders that have a relationship with this shoot description ID. I'm going to use the sample order. The product will be the composite layout, and if you've seen the other videos, you know I created uh, a couple of different ones. I'm going to use the 10 by 8 composite initially. I'm going to make some changes to it just so I can show you how it's done. Uh, the group I is grade, Homer men student. Uh, it's based on the sorts in DP2. These sorts are loaded by default when you load the sample school order. Uh, sorts are a way of managing and organizing not just the data related to shoot description or orders but the production. So in this case it's a decision about how I want those to be organized as their output but again that's going to be defined by your output device and how you've organized your production. Uh, the quantity and again remember we're creating a com one composite and we're generating as many as there are in the data records that's how the pattern range um, is utilized in this case because each composite or group of composites will be determined by the number of data records uh, in any given order. We have the number of images ordered packages so that if your customer only wants to provide composites to the kids that ordered packages you can select that. You can select a quantity so if you're generating a composite and you want to do a hundred of it you can just go ahead and set it here or you can do the countable nodes or the images plus any that were identified as absentees. We also have the ability to add one. So in this case, as an example, it's the number of kids, maybe, and one for the teacher. When you're selecting and telling DP2 uh, what and how many, you need to tell it the images from. It could be from all of the orders related to the shoot description, or just from this order, which is what we're going to do. The sort by is, in this case, depending again on the needs of the composite that you're working with, is organizing the last name so that it's alphabetically on the page. But again, depending on what you're outputting, could be using any one of these sorts or any other custom sorts that you've created. And there's another video that talks about creating your own sorts and your own macros for a composite. The output specification here, if this is used if there is no output specification in the composite layout, uh, but I did want to let you know that you can go ahead and save that, and you can save that as part of your job setup. You could also create and run all of them right from here. The node setup details, you can save these. This is a second layer, so that if I wanted to make my composites and interchange that with my node details, I'm going to go ahead and load those for this particular job. That way when we look at the node details, and this is the heart of how this workflow uh, benefits the lab. So because these are all what we call composite macros, these nodes, the names from the nodes come from the nodes that we gave specific names so that we could assign specific properties to them here in the job setup and the node details. So as an example, the countable defaults, it's the image and the text nodes that we created and is true here. So what we want to tell DP2 is these are the countable default, defaults of the kids. So the text for those, and you'll see it down here, is the first name and the last name. 
And if you wanted to change those, as an example, I'll go ahead and delete this here. And I'll delete that from there. So if I need to add a definition as a part of the node setup here, what I want to do is select the M for macro, and I want to find that matching name, or in this case, the student first name, last name. These are ones that are loaded by default. So that you, what you can see here is it's coming from the shoot, the subject information table, first name, and then last name, and I simply add that. It's really that simple, depending on, of course, this list comes from the work that I did in the pattern. In addition to that, our next decision or our next opportunity is to show the groups. So that we can see we've got two classes of second grade and two classes of the third grade. Based on that, group by, right, grade, homeroom, and students. So I'm just going to select one and tell DP2 to create those going to go ahead. You could select it, all of them for the purposes of this video. I just I want to show you that um, I'm creating them from here and I'm doing a regular composite. Uh, let's go ahead and view the item that we created. So I'll just go ahead and open that so I can kind of show you. But based on those node details and the information that I identified in the pattern, in the composite layout, and then in the composite job generator. So in this case, I have the principal in the upper left, the teacher in the upper right. That sample middle school is being pulled out of the shoot description data table. The style is the style that we looked at, the black gold text that's from our um, node setup. These are our kids that are in the third grade with their first and last name below their image and there is that wood frame style that we selected in our chemical defaults. And that is a very quick overview of the composite job generator. Thank you.